Hello, last time we discussed about uh, factory pattern. Today we are going to discuss about uh, another pattern which is also uh, a creation and pattern and have some relationship or some connection to the factory pattern we discussed. So the pattern we are going to discuss today is uh, called abstract factory pattern. Abstract. Factory. So in this pattern, uh, the aim of this pattern or the purpose of this pattern is to provide an interface or facility for creating families of related objects without specifying the concrete classes. So in the factory pattern we know that uh, we know that it facilitates to create uh, objects without specifying the actual concrete class listed. Here the abstract factory pattern it facilitates something like extending the factory pattern creating families of related objects without specifying the concrete classes. So instead of one uh, family like this there are many many families. So this is kind of a generic uh, like abstract way of uh, factory pattern. So I will draw the diagram of abstract factory here. Uh, so let's say we have something like a product, a class called product. Take an example and uh, tell you. So this uh, class is a, this is an abstract class. Let's say a cart, and account class. We can from this abstract account class we can have concrete classes. Few concrete classes. Let's have. Uh, Three concrete classes extending this account abstract class. This one is savings account, savings account, SV, and this one. Current account. And you can say this one fixed deposit. Three account types. When we look at this thing like this, similarly we can have one abstract class and three or few concrete classes uh, extending from this. Same as that, we have one abstract class and few concrete classes. This is one family. The other family is loans. So this is loan abstract class and from that we can extend it to let's say three uh, subclasses, sub concrete classes, personal loan, uh, vehicle loan, one you can say housing law that's it so in the factory pattern we just have one uh, set of one family 
one abstract class and uh, concrete classes but here we can have few at least two more than one and the factory uh, classes in previous case in factory pattern we have uh, one factory but here we can have abstract factory The abstract factory is like this. I would say I would name it as abstract factory. Yes. Factory. And there in abstract factory, like in previous case, we have method to create the objects. Here we can have objects, uh, we can have two methods, one is to create loads, one is to create uh, accounts. So one thing is create account, the other method is create load okay. and this abstract factory so we can extend this to more than one concrete factories let's say we have two concrete factories this one and this other one So this concrete factory, I would say, I name it concrete factory one, and the other one is concrete factory two. concrete factories and we can implement these two methods according to uh, the requirement of concrete factory here and we can implement that just like have it here and also we can have it here we can implement the methods according to the want in different two different concrete fact in these two concrete factories we can implement the methods according to the way we want so now we have uh, our driver class so whenever driver class wants to create objects from these two families accounts and uh, loans similar to the uh, way we did in previous uh, factory method we create object from this this thing and then through that we create objects so this uh, factory has uh, sorry driver has a relationship with this thing connection with this and then this one let's say it's a uh, concrete factory one it has uh, I will use another color so the concrete factory one can create objects from these classes so create account will create accounts from these things so 
calculated with you. This one and also this one. And I will use another color for concrete factor 2. Whenever it wants to create accounts, same method way we used in uh, previous factor pattern. We can use this factory to create objects from accounts and also loans. So I'm not going to uh, write the code here, but I will explain this like this. So driver is the program. We have the main uh, method. So static from the program. So abstract factory here in this case, we can use in this example for banking environment. We can say this is abstract class of a bank, just a bank. So this thing is like this abstract class is bank. And in bank class, we have two methods. One method to create accounts uh, and one method is to create loans. And this concrete factory, which is extended in the bank, let's say, Sampad Bank. So when we come to Sampad Bank, the way it creates accounts, the policy can be different. The parameters it uses or the details it uses can be different. So the implementation of this create account can be different than the other bank. Let's say this bank is uh, Bank of Ceylon, USC. So the way it needs, uh, the, the way it creates accounts can be different from this bank to this bank. The interest rate can be different, the policy can be different, The information they need can be different likewise and for creating loans definitely two banks can be having different two different policies so this is abstract bank class and concrete class is Sampath bank and the other concrete class is POC and whenever we want to create accounts from this one it will create one of these accounts but according to the way that this bank needs. And in this case, accounts and loans will be created according to the way that this bank needs. So this is called abstract factory. Rather than having one factory, here we can have abstract factories and there we can use to create objects from families of uh, classes. So you can read about this method and you can see the code and you can understand it this easily. Uh, so I'm not going to write the code here. This is kind of extension of this code. You can easily understand that. Okay, thank you. The next pattern I'm going to discuss is singleton pattern. Singleton pattern is also a creational pattern. We know that single uh, the creational patterns are addressing uh, the issues or requirements of uh, arising uh, when creating objects. So the singleton pattern is also a creational pattern. So it is also addressing some uh, issues which are arising when creating objects related to creating objects. So the singleton pattern. Uh, as the name implies, this is this pattern is used in a, in scenarios that we need to restrict the number of objects that can be created from a class to one. So A or the aim of this pattern to restrict the number of objects that can be created from a class.
class to one, only one object should be created from the class, that particular class, not more. Why do we need such a requirement? For example, as a, like a real world example, we can say when we have configuration setting for a software or a machine or some system or device, the con let's say configuration setting is an object coming from a class. We create that object, but obviously we know that configuration setting is something like just one thing. We don't have many configuration settings for a machine at a particular time. Particular time, there should be only one configuration setting and uh, we use the machine for a particular task. If we want to change the configuration setting, we may have to reinstall or reconfigure the machine or the device or the uh, system. So in that case, configuration setting that if we use that configuration setting uh, as an object coming from a class, the class should have the capability to restrict the number of objects created from that particular class to one, not more than one. If more than one, that means uh, there's a, it, it will be problematic. Another example, we can say uh, login caches for, a, for an application. So logging cache is like some uh, some kind of a cache that creates the uh, details of logging to the system. So we are not going to have number of logging caches, only one. So when it is coming from a, a class, we instance instant, instantiate a class and create an object as a logging cache object, then there should be a possibility that the class should have created only one login cache, not more than one. Number of login caches may be problematic. But every login detail should go through one object or from one channel. That's why we need only one login cache. So that sort of scenario. In real world, we should have restrict the number of objects that can be created from a class to one. To achieve that, to solve that problem, the generic solution is given that is a singleton pattern. Okay, singleton pattern is uh, easy, like just one class thing. So, first I draw the class structure of singleton pattern you can see uh, some kind of a uh, rare way of implementing classes in this case let's say the name of this class is singleton singleton class so as I discussed in uh, the previous examples this can be a login cache or this can be a configuration setting something so object coming from this class that be login cache or configuration setting so according to that the name can be changed login cache class or configuration setting class like this so there We have a private method, sorry, a private uh, attribute, its name is singleton, you can use any name, but it is, it is a private attribute. And the type is, type of this class singleton type and this is private attribute and one more thing private and static so why we use the underline private static variable the type is singleton 
this is the attribute we must have in the singleton class we can have many other attributes but this is the uh, must be and importantly we know that uh, i mean we have to have a constructor method which is private private constructor method that is very rare and i don't know whether we use private constructor methods in other cases but in this particular case we must use a private constructor method usually constructor method is the method creating objects from a class to do the instantiation and that uh, for that purpose constructor method should be public because outsider should have the access to the method but here it is a private method Out outsiders cannot access the method so how do we create objects or instantiate we can have another method create instance with the name we create instance and can have any name but for, the, for this purpose we just use the name create instance that's a public method and through that method we create objects from the class so when we discuss the code i will explain it more and the return type of this method is the type of the class name of the class this type of object is created and returned to the also method whatever who invokes the invokes this method so the return type obviously should be singleton in the name of the class okay this is the must thing in our uh, singleton uh, class and we will discuss the uh, code you will understand this more so here we have public class singleton and there we have this private static singleton variable let's say s s is new singleton you can see that we can use this constructor method constructor is a private constructor method here but inside the class we can use it new singleton it will create an object and return to this and that object will be assigned to this variable s which is from the singleton type and this is a static variable static variable means there is only one memory location is allocated to store this variable and this is private uh, attribute private attribute this is static type that means only one memory lock allocation is there so if we create like many uh, objects from this class obviously it is restricted but in general if we create many objects from a class when there is a static uh, variable there is only one memory location for that variable so all the classes are sharing that all the objects are sharing that so this is called a class variable type is singleton and inside the class we can use the constructor method and get the object and assign it to this variable okay and then i write the constructor method private we have to 
right there like this because uh, we are overriding the method using this private return type sorry private access modifier and we do not accept any parameters in that particular one and uh, we just keep the constructor blank okay we create an object but it is a private constructor that can only be accessed from inside the class. And the other method we have is public static Singleton create instance. Okay, so I forgot to mention here this create instance method should be a static method. So without creating objects from the class, we should be able to call or invoke this method. That's why we make it static. And there, what it does is it return the object we created here this is subject this method is static method so without creating objects from this class we can uh, call that method because it's a static method and it will return this object So this is the singleton class. So importantly, you have to understand we first create an object from this class itself, and that's a private static object and keep it with us. And we declare the default constructor method, change it, change the access modifier to private so only inside from the inside of the class we can call it not from the outside uh, to call from the outside to create objects we make another special method create instance the type is singleton and that method is, that, that should be static method uh, because we, we should be able to invoke that method without creating objects from this particular class and there it will return this object okay this is the singleton uh, implementation let's uh, look at how do how can we test this i mean how can we use it in uh, in, a, in a driver class in the program okay for that i will add another variable to show the usage of this thing uh, that is let's say we have private int a we have a variable may i put that in red color And let's have another method uh, that is public void add param. So we are adding parameters to that variable int x. What it does is it assigns the values of value of this x variable to our uh, instance variable so I keep it in red color okay so now I am writing the test class we have uh, class test 
test and there we have main method in the main method what we are doing is we create an object singleton uh, sin to create an object from this singleton class we should use the create instance method uh, because singleton construct is uh, not creating objects because it is a uh, private method it, we cannot invoke to invoke this constructor method because it's a private method so we call create instance Done dot create instance because it's a uh, static method we can just uh, call the call invoke that method using the class name dot okay. what it does is when we invoke this method it will create an object and return to here okay then now we have an object sin we can call sin dot add param we can assign a value so we have seen uh, object to that object uh, constructor method or the, the create instance method create an object and assign to here and when we add parameter 10 using add param method that will add value 10 to this variable in that object okay now let's say uh, we have a way to print let's say like we have a, another print method so we can s dot print In addition to this method we should have a print method so public print so what it does is print value of a okay and when we print this it will print the value 10 let's say we create another variable uh, another uh, object single term sin 2 singleton dot create instance we can use singleton dot because create instance method is a static method and now sin 2 dot add param equals 30 so now the object we create here scene 2 uh, inside that object to this a variable parameter 3 will be added okay in normal case when we print the value of scene it will show 10 and if you print the value of scene 2 it will show value 10 or uh, 30 but now let's see if we scene 2 dot print okay it will show the value 30 no problem and if we invoke the print method for sin what will happen you can you can code this and see this will also show 30 because no two objects are not created 
only one object is created and it is accessing only this variable of that single object. So this will give in this instance it will print value 10 no problem and in this case it will print value 30 no problem and here when we call sin.print again instead of printing value 10 it will print 30 so that proves or shows us only one object is created from this class and return return to the outside to the driver okay this is the singleton a pattern we can use this in any situation in any recurring problem that we need to create only one instance of a class in our program okay